Hi everyone, um, this is a drawing I did of the accumulators for the front shocks and it looks like an electrical thing. I know that Corvette had electric shocks, I don't know if they used it on C7R. I'm just saying what it looks like to me. Alright, right now I'm cutting the fingers that uh, look like they grip the accumulator just behind the rear the behind the front tire you'll see it on both sides of the c7r if you go to motoq.com uh, which i'll put in the description below please subscribe please like um, comment please uh, if you have any questions any criticisms which you know i'm not doing this exactly right that's new to me okay these little gouge outs here I use this on aircraft quite a bit so you can use it on cars use it on tanks you can use it on ships this is what I'm trying to show here is how you can scratch build or learn how to scratch build whatever you might desire This is a burnishing tool. It, notice the plastic starting to curl. Now I'm helping it a little bit with my fat fingers. I cut it in half. Now I'm curling it more with my tweezers. Sanding them flush, duh. There we go. Rounding the edges. That little piece of sprue up above is the actual accumulator that will this thing will grasp. I think it's welded in, I'm not sure. Right now I'm test fitting um, how it looks on there. Uh, notice they're not perfect because I'm not perfect. Put some liquid glue down to set the forward part. It's at a wedge shape. The top is filled. The bottom is not on the structure that holds the accumulator. Why well, have the added weight? To the car, not to the model. Right there was a photo of uh, from Photo IQ, a image it printed, and um, as you can see, it gives you the you can see the colors things need to be. If you go there, if you have any doubt on colors, the only thing I can say is that um, the uh, drinking. Uh, cooler came in many different colors <laughs> you know they, they they only last so long guys <laughs> you know and I'm quite sure they changed them quite a bit so you can get them in any color of the rainbow they look like igloos to me but I'm not sure okay right I'm smoothing out making a um, one for the other side Notice I have the engine done in the back side or started on it and the front's painted. I uh, actually uh, did a video on that but it turned out crappy so I deleted it. Shoving it in going to make um, the uh, pipe coming out of the top or part of the top of it that um, 90's over with a piece of metal or stainless or steel tubing that goes to the uh, shock absorber. Clean up 
cleaned it up a bit, put it back in the chuck. My uh, drill, I no longer have this one, or at least it's not running anymore. The chuck would let go. And, that, and notice I'll keep fiddling with it because it keeps moving on me. I don't make them like they used to. Now I'm cutting a hard edge with a razor saw. Now I'll go and that acts as a stop cut. In other words, you'll quit cutting right there as you pull back, make a nice sharp edge. Well, that's the idea. Right there is a photo of everything going into the shock. And you can see the brake coolers, everything. I made the brake coolers in the, ho in the uh, tubing. Um, I put it on, and you can't see it. Darn. Right now I'm making the forward one just above the brake cooler. You can see it. It's got a uh, iodized blue and gold uh, fitting sticking out. That looked more like braided line or braided electrical. I'm not sure which, but that's what I'm making right now. You'll see what I'm doing here in a minute. I am going to make an elbow for that fitting. And um, you'll see. On the tip there. Putting the stop cut in, cutting it back, cleaning it up. Where I get the term stop cut is I did a little bit of wood carving, very little, and that's where I found out the term and found out I've been doing this ever since I started scratch building some 40, 50 years ago. I'm sorry, I've been saying Moto Q, it's Moto IQ, hmm. old age event. Just about done with it. Yep. 
that's what it looks like with the fingers on needs a little bit of sanding I'm putting the uh, brake line which I got the sequence out of order is that's actually a piece of sprue if I can get my super glue to hold hey if any of you guys know a good super glue let me know please the stuff I got is junk Here I am making the elbow. You see, I'm bending it. I don't know what's with it. You bend at 90 and by the time you're done, it's like at a 80 degree, 85 degree angle. I gotta work on that. A rather lazy stop cut but that's what that is This is for the line that's in front of the car, in front of the rear, uh, front wheel, just above the A-arms. Um, notice it's all made into one piece. That's what I was doing there, was making a flange for it. Smoothing it over with some um, Plastistruck glue. Um, I found out later there's another glue that works way better. There's the finished product, not painted. There's the other things on the top. Thank you for watching. <laughs>